Frankie, it's time for that Mac. No, let's try again. Frankie, it's time to make a Mac out of stuff in a box. Today on Box Mac. Ashley's mystery box that we've already reviewed the contents of. Yeah. Now it's time to put up a shut up. Ashley Blom, yours and mine, featured on the Halloween episode and many others, gave us a challenge with a, a, a group of cheeses and meats and other things. Ultimate challenge, use only the ingredients contained here. Super challenge, use all the ingredients here. Regular challenge, use most of them. Good luck. I think I can make a shitty macaroni and cheese with the ultimate challenge. I think I can make an okay macaroni and cheese with the super challenge. I think. Yeah. We should shoot for the ultimate challenge. All right, so let me, let's lay out the ingredients. Did you see that, that moment of irritation? It's not irritation, it's concern. <laughs> it's not irritation. So we got some pasta, this is gonna be great pasta. Car I don't know what, how that is, car car whatever. Sazarechis? Sazarechis. Sazarechis. Then we have our cheeses. We have this Laughing Cow Creamy Light Swiss Spreadable Cheese. It's well past date. Like this is the kind of thing everybody would throw out, right? Dairy three months out, yeah. Unrefrigerated dairy three months out. It is, it's a stocked item that is not refrigerated though. It might be fine. And this was the last box Mac ever filmed. <laughs> Alexa, can I use bad cheese? <laughs> <laughs> Ashley told me that it was shelf stable. It is shelf stable. It's my understanding that Laughing Cow cheese, cheese spread and foil wedges packed in a cardboard wheel is shelf stable. However, most grocery stores sell it refrigerated. I guess so consumers can find it. Makes sense. That brand always reminded me of mad cow disease. <laughs> <laughs> Don't use it past the expiration date. They're basically saying it stays shelf stable for a long time, but use it before the expiration. That's not what they're saying. They're saying That's exactly what they're saying. saying. No, it's not what they're saying. Don't do it. <laughs> Should we take a vote? I don't care about your vote. It's pasteurized and loaded with preservatives. It won't behave like hard cheese will in storage. Do you want me to run to the store and buy you new cheese? <laughs> yeah, dairy that's this far out is a little dangerous. I think we should send Nina to go buy some more. Just delete this whole part from the episode. <laughs> You better keep looking and make sure there's no other problems in there before she goes and buys this it. This cheese has no expiration date whatsoever. And this one's in 2019, so we're fine. What about the meat? The meat is past date. All right. <laughs> Nina, we're gonna wait for Nina to go buy more. Shady's back. Shady. Nina went out and bought us replacement cheese. Yeah. It's not the light version of the cheese, it's the full fat version. Well, there you go. She got us an equivalent salami. A boar's head, which is a very nice salami, instead of this one, which is, again, a couple months past. Do you have uh, any ideas about how you're gonna go about this, or is it like- Well, let's review the rest of the ingredients first. We've got a smoked, roasted garlic cheese, and a little tiny tomato basil cheese. With no date on it. Can be eaten infinitely. Forever. Blendabella, a blend of diced portabella, vegetables, and herbs. Which will easily be the worst part of the Mac. Beer nuts. I don't know what the hell to do with these. What do these have to do with beer? Nothing, you just eat them with beer. They're peanuts with a little bit of salty coating. Would you ever put a peanut in a mac and cheese? No. A little bit of blue agave sriracha. It's real strong. You want to try a little? Yeah, I mean, that could overpower the whole Mac. Yeah, very easily. Finally, we have a little container of uh, luxury clotted cream. It's halfway between a heavy cream and a butter. You usually spread on like scones. It's very common in the UK. So, I mean, it seems obvious to me. Here's your three cheese Mac. Then you put the veggies and meat in, and then you bake with nuts. Yeah. <laughs> Let me try a little of this cream. Yeah, it tastes like a weak butter. I, you know, I can open any jar, okay. seriously. Okay. So if I can't, it'll be funny. If I can, I'm vindicated. Yes. Wow. Okay, why don't you put that stuff in? Pasta? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the trouble is, how the hell do I make a cheese sauce with these super thick ingredients? with no milk. Ah, because we've done 100 episodes of Box Mac, we know how. We dump out a lot of water. Oh, you wanna use pasta water to make the... Um... It's an idea. So I've cut the water way down. Now I'm gonna cut down the salt here because we're gonna use the water. Right. In the meantime, I'm gonna start shredding. Normally uh, that refers to like a groom before his wedding like wants to get shredded. Does it? Yeah, he's gonna be shredding for the next few weeks. Yeah, or snowboarding. Yeah, yeah. I've heard that one. <laughs> John's gonna be shredding. That's the tomato basil. It looks like it smells. I don't think it does smell though. Not dead. It's it takes about that long, right? So this is a Gouda, kind of. It's a smoked cheese. Is Gouda like ever not smoked? Yeah, you can get it not smoked. But it seems so common, the smoked Gouda yeah. thing. Well, because it doesn't taste like a lot otherwise. Very easy to shred these because shelf-stable cheese is usually the issue to shred. It is strong. Yeah. 
I like it. I think it's gonna come through quite a bit in the finished product. I don't know, the, the blue agave strong ass sriracha. You might not taste a bit of smoke. Okay. That might be the last smoke you get in this whole thing. Frank, you wanna help me unwrap some of these laughing cows? These laughing cows were like the treat in my house. Where it was like, oh my God, we still have one of those. I'm having a lot of trouble opening them. All right, so there's a technique. You're supposed to be able to just lift, lift the, yeah, like this. You're supposed oh, to do that. Oh, wow. For once in my life, I know how to do something. All right, so here's our salami. It looks like a big It, it does. Matt, you wanna get in here and the show went very Tom Green at a certain point. <laughs> it's a great salami. <laughs> Somebody make a gif. It's just that it's really tough, as most cured preserved meats are. I think the best way to do is actually grate it. Why don't we just chop it, chop it, chop it, chop it, chop it? I don't think I can get it small enough through chopping. This is gonna be a great salami. I thought Zach might laugh at that, maybe. It's basically just clogging up the grating. We're getting something out of the bottom, though. See, I think that's a great amount for what we're making today. It is a great amount. It's tasty. It's a very good quality salami. Nina selected well. <laughs> so what are you gonna do with these beer nuts, in all seriousness? Serve them on the side? We are gonna bake this a little bit, I think. I would think so. All right, so I guess we should chop up these beer nuts. Yeah, or crush them in a bag. That's a good idea, Frank. Yeah, put Thank them in you. a Ziploc bag and take a mallet to them. Yep. <laughs> Vacuum seal them. Yep. Sous vide beer nuts. <laughs> I've been searching for a video to find out how vacuum sealed peanuts come out. I'm surprised you have a little mallet. I do have just about every kitchen tool. I want them fine, but not too fine. I think that's good. Yeah, hopefully they'll function like salty breadcrumbs. Wait, wait, why are you? I've got a bowl underneath. It's draining it then, oh, okay. It's the only water she allowed us. <laughs> This is the water that we cooked the pasta in. Yeah. This might be good. We'll see. <laughs> Trying to be optimistic here. Sure, yeah, I know. Cheers. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna add a little bit of this clotted cream if you don't mind, Frank. Oh, yeah. Am I allowed pepper, EJ? Is it okay or am I violating the rules? Yeah, what are the... There are no rules. So here's our salami. And then we've got to put this crap in. A little more. All right, that's plenty. Thank you. <laughs> and what about the sriracha, dude? Sriracha we're gonna finish with on top just a little bit. Well, we could put a little in to add a little kick of spice through the mac. Yeah. Let's do it. Oh my God. What? The strong stuff. Yeah, it's, it, look how much know. cheese is there. Okay, I'm calm. Is there anything else we're supposed to put in this? Uh, the only thing that's left is the beer nuts. You know, hopefully the veggies will just kind of disappear. Mmm, a jar of gross veggies. <laughs> you know what I can do though? I can add just a little bit more of yeah. the pasta water. Yeah. Cause it's gonna thicken a little more during cooking. That's right. Look, don't count Ashley out. She's made us some pretty good dishes that like just seemed totally not good. All right, and now for the delicious nutty breadcrumb. Don't do the whole thing, please. For the love of don't burn your precious, and it's time to talk to Alexa. Yeah, El Echo. <laughs> 20 minutes on the timer. Hmm, I don't know that. Echo Pizza, please! <laughs> Sorry, I didn't get that. Please, pizza timer how much left of. <laughs> Echo, timer how much left of. There's less than 10 seconds left on your 20 oh. minute timer. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Stopping with the noise. It's been about two years <laughs> since we last were on Box Mac. Now here's our Mac. Thank you, Ashley. Look at that, EJ. Mama! Ooh! I didn't mean to make this Mac. Ashley made me <laughs> ultimate challenge! Whoa! Carry on. Nothing's baked with beer nuts. <laughs> okay, we wanna get a nice B-roll. Nice B-roll. Did somebody ask for me? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's not too bad at all. It's okay. The, the beer nuts are stupid. Yeah. You know, just crunchy beer nuts in the middle of the mac. I like the smack. The, the only thing I got a problem with is the beer nuts. The vegetable little amount we put in didn't overpower. It disappeared, as we hoped. The cheese wasn't that great a cheese to begin with. I would still really like to put a little milk in just to make it a little bit creamier, but it came out pretty good. Well, Ashley, I can't say I would ever make this particular mac again. However, it has introduced me to a couple new concepts. Smashing the, beer nuts in a bag. Never do that again. <laughs> Actually, more sriracha would be good. I Do you want to try a little without beer nuts and with sriracha on? Yeah, I think so. Because the beer nuts is dumb. Can we just admit that? Frankie? Yeah, the beer nuts is big stupid pieces. The sriracha kind of cleans up some of the problems with it. Actually, it does. It takes out the weird cheese flavor. It gives it a little bit of like sweetness. Mm -hmm. I think it's actually best with the sriracha by far. Oh, how do you feel about the salami? I think maybe in the future use more. I thought it was gonna be like a really strong flavor. It should have been out of date, and instead we decided to. Yeah, we used an end date one. Do you think your instinct with some of this fancier stuff is to like be skeptical too soon? Oh yeah. I'm surprised it worked out as well as it did. I mean, that actually clearly she knows what she's talking about. Mm -hmm. Mama! Ooh. I didn't mean to make this mac. Ashley made me ultimate challenge. 
nothing's baked with beer nuts. <laughs> wow.